Welcome back everyone to learn Imputation. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 16.27, okay? It says, the gear A on the drive shaft of the outboard motor has a radius RA equals to 0.7 inches. And the mesh pinion gear B on the propeller shaft has a radius of RB equals to 1.4 inches. Determine the angular velocity of the propeller in T equals to 1.3 seconds if the drive shaft rotates with an angular acceleration alpha equals to 300 the square root of t in radians per second square, where t is in seconds. The propeller is originally at rest and the motor frame does not move. All right, so over here we're giving our drive shaft and we have the gear A and we're also giving basically the mesh pinion at B and we want to know what's the angular velocity of this propeller, okay? so basically the same angular velocity at this mesh b they will have the same angular velocity okay so now that we have that what we can do well what we can say is let's first of all write out my givens i'm giving out that ra is equal to 0 0.7 inches rv is equal well the radius of b is equal to 1.4 inches the time that I'm interested, I'm going to call it T1, is equal to 1.3 seconds. The alpha is equal to 300, or the acceleration is equal to 300 square root of T in radians per second square. Now, this acceleration is for the drive shaft, rotates with an angular acceleration. Well, the drive shaft is basically my gear A, so I'm going to give it a subscript of A. This is my angular acceleration for my gear A. And, well, since we know the angular acceleration of A, what we can do is find the angular velocity at A. And we're going to do that by knowing that the integral of my acceleration uh, with respect to time is equal to my angular velocity okay so if we do that well that's plugging in from 0 to t of my angular acceleration which is equal to 300 square root of t well I'm going to put that square root of t as t to the one half dt okay so if we solve for that integral we'll end up having 300 t to the three halves all divided by three halves we can further simplify that and we will get an equal of 200 t to the three halves okay so um, the reason I know it's 200 is because this three will divide it by this three gives me two and this two will go to multiply uh, I'm sorry this three divided by three will give me one and then this two multiplied by a hundred will give me an equal of 200 okay so uh, that's how I did this now that we have this what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate This angular velocity at my interest rate time, which is equal to 200 multiplied by 1.3 raised to the three halves, okay, so I'm going to plug this into my calculator and I'm going to get a total of 296 point four the units should be in radians per second as for velocity, uh, angular velocity. And why is this important? Well, what we can say is like we're going to get into a point here that connects both gears, gear A and gear B, and we're going to call it point one. Well, what happens with this point one is that the velocity of point one of this point, so we're going to say that utilize this equation where the velocity of a point is equal to the angular velocity times its radius okay so however this point touches both gear a and gear b therefore what we can say is that the velocity of this point one is equal to the angular velocity of a times the radius of a but at the same time this point one the velocity is equal to the uh, angular velocity of b multiplied by the radius of b okay so having these two equations these two equations now we have our own known that we want to figure out we do know the angular velocity of a the radius of a the radius of b therefore we can calculate this so let's just start by
plug it into the first equation, well, we know that the angular velocity of A is equal to 296.4. We're going to multiply it by the radius. Well, the radius of A is 0 0.7 inches. And when we multiply this, we will get a total of 207.5 and the units should be inches per second. Now, from our second equation, we're going to solve for the angular velocity at B, which we are interested in. This is going to be the velocity of the point divided by the radius of B. And if we plug the numbers, it's going to be 207.5 divided by, well, the radius of B, as stated, is 1.4. So we got 1.4. Okay. So finally, if we plug this into our calculator, the, the angular velocity of B or the propeller is going to be equal to 148.2 and the units should be in radians per second. Okay, and this should be our final answer for this problem. So I hope you guys like the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.